I guess it goes without saying that I love making ninja swords. Someone asked me if I can make a ninja sword from the 1983 movie Revenge of the Ninja. The sword in the movie has a longer blade and a shorter handle. I found some references online of the sword, so I printed them out in several different scales. After I found the right scale, I began to work on it. I found some metal to make the sword and handguard out of. The handguard is made out of aluminum. The sword blade itself is made out of the spring steel. I put the aluminum piece in my vice grip and I use my rotary tool to cut it out and sand it smooth. I use my T-square to find the middle of the handguard and then drill it out. Then I use my rotary tool to make a slot for the tang to fit through. I use some coffee stir sticks to make the handle and glue it together. Then there was a lot of sanding and carving and sanding and carving. After sand all that sanding and carving, I pushed the tang into the handle. The handle holds the handguard on with helps with some glue. I added a small piece of wood to look like a pommel. Sanded it, carved it, and sanded it to shape. I used a popsicle stick to create the scabber. With a blade this long, the blade has to share part of the handle of the dagger. I carved out some room for the dagger to sit in the scabber. Then I started putting the scabber together. A lot more gluing and sanding, more gluing and sanding. After I got the scabber carved and sanded to shape, I used copy stir sticks to laminate it. This will help create the hidden dagger features. I used some Krylon Ultra Flat camouflage paint. This stuff is super flat. I finished it off with some black ribbons and some jump rings. My custom snake eyes approves. When not in use, you could wrap the ribbon around the scabber. I added a jump ring towards the bottom of the scabber. This also helps the hidden blade feature. And you could also use it to tie the sword to the ninja's back. Since this is a ninja sword, I didn't create a shiny blade. The blade is brushed metal. I used a silver sharpie to cover the blade, give it more of a brushed look. When compared to my wooden sword, my wooden ninja sword is slightly wider and the handle is slightly longer. I really like how the handguard turned out. I painted it black too. This was my first ninja sword I made long ago. When comparing it to the new ninja sword I made, the blade is noticeably shorter. I actually used some references to create my first blade to scale. Here you can see how the blade sticks out of the bottom of the scabbard. I had to make part of the dagger's handle hollow so the blade would fit in it. I used a silver sharpie to add reference dots so when putting the hidden dagger back into place it fits snugly. This ensures that the hidden dag dagger is going in correctly. This is the second ninja sword I've created like this. Let me know what you think. Also, do you think I should create Deadpool swords with the back scabbard? And would you be interested in purchasing them if I made them? Thanks for watching. Guess it's raining. I got a video to do. Now it stops raining. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media.